people that have hurt us in the past will not get away with it. It, it means everything to us. Another trial has just wrapped up against imprisoned polygamist leader Warren Jeffs. Several of his ex-followers took him to court over abuses they say they suffered under his direction. Fox 13 News reporter Ben Winslow was the only reporter in court for the trial today and has this exclusive story. For two days, ex-members of the fundamentalist LDS Church have testified about abuses they suffered at the hands of Warren Jeffs. So I was his 65th wife. And what I went through when I was married to him was very horrific. They spoke about forced marriages and rapes, living in extreme poverty and going hungry, and giving all they had to the church. Some eventually left. There are girls that are being hurt, that are suffering daily from the hands of a wicked, wicked man. Others were cast out and separated from their families under Jeff's orders. I had three wives. I had 23 birth children, and out of all of those, not one has come back to me and said, hey, Dad, what happened? They sued Jeffs, who's currently serving a life sentence in a Texas prison for child sex assault related to underage marriages. Fraud for defrauding my clients uh, and trafficking uh, my clients with respect to labor and sometimes sexual activity. Uh, across the United States. Warren Jeffs wasn't here to answer for any of it, and he's consistently refused to respond to the litigation. So the court found him in default. The ex-members could get millions in damages, but a question remains, can they even collect? They're entitled to compensation, I believe, and if the court rules in their favor, we hope the court will send a message through the damage award. For some, the day in court is worth it. It's not only for, for me and the pain that I've gone through, but for everybody. This is huge for me. Like, I really need this. Like, I, I've been waiting for this. <laughs> While others with families still in the church hope they learn the truth about Warren Jeffs. They have ears that will not hear and eyes that will not see because they've been told by God, they think, don't look. You can't look. You can't listen. The judge will ultimately decide how much they get, but the 15 plaintiffs in this case hope to reach others with their verdict. They'll feel like they're not alone. You're not the only one that went through that. All of us have. You're not alone. Come find us. We've gone through it. We've gotten through it. And we want to help you through it. In Salt Lake City, Ben Winslow, Fox 13 News, Utah.